what we're going to be talking about here is some of the operational controls of the mini excavator. This one happens to be a Kubota uh, KX040. The controls on this one are, uh, are similar to most excavators. This is your travel forward and reverse on the machine. Either uh, left hand or right hand drive, forward and reverse. It also has the foot pedals on the bottom here if you prefer to use your feet versus your hands. The seat adjustment is here, which is a slide for the front and back to get you in position that you're comfortable with the relationship to the control handle. This knob here is your, your seat uh, tension. For depending on your weight, you can get the uh, suspension seat to be set to your correct weight. Over here you have your, your controls for your A and B. By moving this lever, you could be in the B pattern or A pattern, and this could be in B pattern. What that does is changes how these two controls operate, whether it be in an excavator control or into a back or uh, operation control. This could be a, a lift and a lower, and this could be a swing, and this would be a bucket and a crowd. Now, if the control is switched the other way, these would switch. This would no longer be the, the crowd uh, here, and this would be the lift. They would switch sides, uh, depending on your mode of operation. This is the console that raises again in the machine, and none of the controls will actually operate once you're in there until the lever is pulled down, and that will put it into the operational mode. Both of these levers here are to run the uh, excavator itself, or if you swing by going side to side, or lifting the boom up and down. The side door has a release here on the side to, to lock it open if you prefer to have it that way uh, during uh, warmer weather or if you want to have it closed in adverse conditions, it, it releases it for that, that mode. The overhead uh, door or window has a pair of knobs you grab with your thumbs up here on the top and you can pull it down and close the window or push them and push it up and lock it. Power point for any kind of DC powered task that you might want to have in here, cell phone, or charger, or something. There's also heater controls and uh, air conditioning controls uh, back in the panel here, which are pretty self explanatory. On this control lever here, there's a rocker switch here. That operates your auxiliary hydraulics that are located on the end of the dipstick. There is a selection in your instrument panel, which we'll get to later, that will tell you which modes you can put that auxiliary hydraulics into, whether you be in a breaker mode or a thumb mode or, or such like that, where you want double acting or single acting hydraulics. See that that's the button for your auxiliary hydraulics that we talked about before that's run on the control lever. That's showing the auxiliary hydraulics are on. That moves it into a dual hydraulics. It's showing a grapple on there, which is just showing that it's in dual direction hydraulics for like a thumb or a grapple bucket. There it's showing that you have it in breaker mode, so it's one-way hydraulics. So you have maximum flow and maximum return coming back for running a breaker. That would give you the engine RPMs and more engine status in the operation. This also has a diverter valve, which allows you to either run on this port or this port. Say this had a thumb mounted to it, there would have been a thumb on here that you may have plumbed into this port, or uh, you may have the thumb on and you decide you wanted to put a concrete breaker on, but you didn't want to take the thumb off. Well, then you could connect the concrete breaker up to this port and switch this over to the other side 
and run the brake throughout having to remove the thumb. The quick coupler is a Kubota style quick coupler here. That uh, This section here and this section here and this here is the quick coupler and the bucket wraps around it. Uh, to remove this, you pull this one pin and you just uncurl the bucket out of it and uh, reattach it to the next one and put this one pin back in. So that's a, that's a manual quick coupler, not a hydraulic quick coupler, but it's very quick and easy to get on and off. And it keeps your geometry pretty tight as if you didn't have a coupler at all, so you can have most of the power still working with your back coupler. is an angling blade. It has a hydraulic cylinder on it and it allows you to uh, turn it from side to side for back filling. That is also run by a switch inside the cab.